Hey guys, and welcome back. I know I haven't made a video in a long, long time, so I decided today that I would make a video. And um, first of all, how are you doing? Hopefully you guys are doing good, doing good. Today, hey, I, I won't complain. I still have my aches and pains, but I'm not going to complain. Mm-hmm. All right. And one thing, um, when I go on different fibromyalgia platforms, it looks like most things people are asking, uh, what do you take for fibro? You know, what, what are you on? The doctor just put me on this. What do y'all think? Or who all is taking this? So I thought I would do, um, this uh, video about the types of treatments uh, out there for fibromyalgia. Now, now there there's only three drugs uh, specifically approved by the FDA to treat fibromyalgia. Now, there's many other drugs that are not indicated for fibromyalgia, but are commonly prescribed off-label to treat this condition. Now, uh, of course, antidepressants, because uh, if you have fibro, you know that hey, you, you, your feelings, you, you, you deal with depression, sometimes to the very lows. Uh, so uh, there are antidepressants to help ease uh, depression and also chronic pain, especially uh, neuropathy. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, antidepressants uh, can also help treat the depression, another symptom of fibro, just like I said. Now, there are many classes of antidepressants. Now, uh, two drugs uh, that they use to treat fibro is uh, Cymbalta, uh, Deloxetine, and uh, Savella, and the generic is uh I'm going to try to pronounce this. Mil Milnacep Mil Milis <laughs> this. I'm going to have it right up there. But Milonesoprine. Okay. Now, they've been approved by the FDA to treat fibro. Now, there are tricyclic antidepressants called Elevil, uh, which uh, the generic is amitriptyline and uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors such as uh, Prozac, Paxil, and Zoloft. Uh, those are other antidepressants which are sometimes prescribed to treat uh, the fibro. Now, uh, they, there are also some anti-seizure medications. And I'm going to tell you once uh, before we get off of uh, that, the antidepressants. Uh, the ones that I that's been given to me by my doctor, and uh, I take the amitriptyline, and it it helps with uh, nerve pain, the neuropathy, uh, and I take the uh, Cymbalta, the the gen the generic deloxetine, uh, which helps uh, with the pain. Mm -hmm. So I I do take those two. And for actually the depression, I take uh, Effexor, mm -hmm. and which they didn't list Effexor as one of the uh, drugs that treat fibro depression. That is what um, I take. Now, um, like I said, there are anti seizure medications uh, that uh, treats fibro also. Now, one to treat is uh, Lyrica. Now, some of you are on Lyrica, I know, out there. Uh, doctor put me on Ly Lyrica for a while, but I just, mm -mm, I didn't. And Lyrica causes weight gain, which, what doesn't? But uh, <laughs> Lyrica is approved by the FDA to treat uh, fibro, uh, as well as uh, um, neuropathy, pain, and generalized anxiety disorders. Now, uh, Lyrica has also uh, been used to treat restless leg syndrome, which some of you, myself as one, have uh, restless leg syndrome with the uh, fibro. 
Mm-hmm. Now, another one is uh, neurorotin, uh, gamapentin. You might uh, be more aware of that name. That's the generic name, gabapentin. It's also an anti-epilepsy uh, drug, frequently prescribed off-label to treat uh, fibromyalgia. Mm-hmm. Now, anti-seizure drugs believed to help in cases of fibro by calming overactive nerves and reducing the transmission of pain signals. Mm-hmm. Now, pain medication medicines, uh, uh, you know, you have your over-the-counter, the Tylenol, acetaminophen, uh, to opiates available only by prescription. But, you know, since opiates are so addictive, they're trying to um, get from uh, prescribing opiates for the pain. Uh, now, they have a non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs uh, like uh, Motrin, Ibuprofen, and uh, which is over-the-counter while... Uh, Celebrex and Voltaren re, uh, requires a prescription. Now, they are believed to work by inhibiting the production of chemicals that promote inflammation and blood clot formation in the body. Taken regularly at high doses, uh, some uh, which they call NSAIDs can cause gastrointestinal problems and abnormal bleeding. That's with the, um, you know, the... Uh, Advil, ibuprofen, and uh, the uh, Celebrex. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, for more severe pain, uh, chronic pain, sometimes they um, they prescribe uh, Ultram, uh, which is Tramadol. So some of you have, I have tried the Tramadol. I don't think it works too good. Uh, but that's on my <laughs> on my pain. Uh, they have made tramadol a controlled substance, which it used to not be, but mm -hmm. now some people with fibromyalgia relief from pain by using medical marijuana, which is legal in many places. Uh, unfortunately, it's not legal in my place. <laughs> but uh, the, uh but that's it. Now, other medications, uh, sometimes they give you Soma. I'm on Soma. And uh, Norflex can improve stiffness in some people with fibro. Now, uh, muscle relaxers. Yes. Soma is a muscle relaxer. And I'm on another muscle relaxer called uh, Terazidine. And I'll have the spelling up there. Uh, Terazidine, and also I take at night. I take a half of. Uh, I have it up here. I'll have it up here. But those are the two uh, muscle relaxers uh, that I am on right now. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, sometimes uh, fibromyalgia often causes sleep problems. Some people are on are 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 uh, suffer with sleep apnea, which I do. I'm on a CPAP at night. Uh, but some medications can help you sleep, including Ambien. I was on that for a while. I took myself off of uh, melatonin, which is a natural sleep hormone, and uh, Ativan, Valium, Xanax. Um, they Prescribe those for anxiety that comes with fibro. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, some <clears throat> psychotherapy. Now, many people with fibro find psychotherapy helpful. Uh, Post-traumatic stress disorders and childhood abuse are risk factors for the development of fibro, in case you didn't know. Uh, so, um, the development of fibromyalgia symptoms and depression and anxiety are common symptoms of fibro. Physical and psychological pain can be closely linked. 
So psychotherapy can help people with fibro work through traumatic memories and find healthy ways to cope with stress. Now, cognitive behavior therapy called CBT is one variety of psychotherapy that focus on changing thought processes and behaviors that contribute directly to physical symptoms such as pain. Mm, okay, okay. Um, but there are no cure for fibro, which we know, but it can be treated. Mm. But those are the medications that I'm on. Uh, if you are on one that I didn't mention, please press that comment button and let us know what you're taking. So we might can go to our physician and see. It might can help uh, many people who uh, see this video. So uh, feel free to press that comment button. With any comments, any symptoms you're having, uh, I have a lot of nerve symptoms, uh, such as the, um, you know, the neuropathy under my feet, as well as, you know, uh, feeling like something's crawling on you. Uh, I have that a lot. Well, see, do y'all have that? And, uh, I have bad, um, uh, acid reflux, gastric reflux, uh, and, and difficulty swallowing which is uh, a symptom of fibro. So I want to see how many of you have those same symptoms. And if you have a symptom that you want to see that uh, others have, just press that comment button. This is what it's all about. It's about communicating what works for you, which may work for someone else. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to wrap up everything, guys. It was nice uh, to see you all out there, even though I don't see you. <laughs> You know, but, uh, you know, uh, just press that comment button if you have any comments about uh, your symptoms. I know you hear my dog. Uh, sorry. But uh, that will do it for me. Thank you so very much for watching my video. I hope that you will like, share, uh, and subscribe. Press that subscription uh, button and uh, uh, the bell so that anytime that I release any videos, you'll know I've got a new video out. All right, guys. And I love you and uh, be blessed.